So hello everyone. Uh, thank you for joining today's session. Let me start by introducing myself. My name is Tamar. I'm a counselor at Education Basket, and we are hosting today's webinar in collaboration with Gizma School of Business. And we are joined by Hagar Farid, who's the business development manager at Gizma Business Schools. So in today's session, Hagar will elaborate more about the university, the programs, the entry requirement, life in Germany, employability outlook, and post-graduation work visa. Also, there will be a time allocated at the end of the session for your questions. And um, I advise you to type any questions you have in the chat box so we can go over at the end and answer all your questions. Lastly, this session is, be, is also being recorded and the recording will be available on our website and YouTube channel within the next few days. Okay, so I will go ahead and give the floor to you, Hagar, so we can start the session. Right. Uh, thank you so much for the introduction and uh, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, very interesting opportunity when we get to meet and talk to students and webinars and when we get to explain uh, a lot about Gizma University of Applied Sciences. Uh, let me reintroduce myself. This is Hogar Farid, and I am the business development manager for the MENA region for Gizma University of Applied Sciences. And uh, our aim here today is to, uh, to, to give everyone who's attended the session a brief about Gizma and basically run you through what you need to know before you join the university. Uh, last but not least, I also uh, would encourage you guys that if you have any questions, as someone exactly said, please try to write them down before you forget them. And uh, I'll make sure that all your questions are being answered by the end of the session. So uh, again, thank you so much for joining. And uh, I promise it's not going to be like brain squeezing. It's going to be simple, but informative at the same time. Uh, somewhere, if we're not waiting for anyone else, uh, can, can we get started already? Yes, we can start. Awesome. All right. I share my screen here. All right, so uh, to start with uh, a little bit about Gizma University of Applied Sciences in terms of first introducing Germany. I know that maybe the majority of you already know a lot of information about Germany, but it, it's always more beneficial when you hear some updated information. So uh, why the majority of international students would consider Germany as a destination for their future students? So to start with, Germany is ranked number four worldwide in terms of best countries. And when I say best countries, I mean all of the criteria you might be thinking about when we are defining a good quality of life. So uh, we're starting with uh, the health insurance system, we're talking about the safety level, the transportation, even the climate, how welcoming the country is to international students, et cetera, et cetera. So Germany is ranked number four in that aspect. Germany is also known for having high quality of education, same time, low tuition fees compared to other destinations that might offer the same quality of education. Uh, with the low tuition fees, Germany is also known for a low cost of living, and this starts by, by basically each and everything a student might want to spend on, starting from the accommodation, the daily expenses, uh, even the transportation, because transportation is known to be almost free in Germany, especially for students. Uh, Germany is also known for being uh, immigration friendly, especially in, in the past couple of years. Germany has shown uh, very, very high progress in that aspect. Adding to that, the great opportunities that are being offered to both international students and local students too. So all those aspects combined, they make Germany a great destination for international students to study in. And uh, this is what we've been aiming at increasing in the past two years too. That we're also trying to increase the outreach to Middle Eastern students, so they understand why Germany might be a better opportunity or a better option for them when considering the study abroad. So, and uh, here is what Germany offers international students. If you can see, Germany is, is one of EU's largest economy and as I told you, fourth in the world. Um, 
Another important factor here is the minimum wage in Germany. So those statistics, which is 12 euros per hour, is for international students. And of course, after graduation, uh, the minimum wage is going to be increased uh, to match an exact resident. But 12 euros per hour is enough for any international student to make a living and maybe save some money too. All right, and uh, now we can jump to talk a little bit about what Gizma University of Applied Sciences is. So Gizma is known for the name of Gizma Business School. However, we are already a University of Applied Sciences and we have received this accreditation in 2021. So before 2021, Gizma was only a business school, but afterwards we also uh, became a University of Applied Sciences. And also uh, we have increased and added a lot of other majors that speak to the fact of a university and just a business school. So Gizma is a state recognized university. And when I say state recognized, it means that each and everything that you might expect from a public university in terms of the way of teaching, the quality of staff, and all the rights that are being given to a student who has studied in a public university is being given to Gizma University of Applied Sciences and this is the meaning of a stage recognized university. Uh, so we have the stage recognition accreditation. Uh, we're already a private university, as you may know, and all the programs are being taught in English, not in German, so we can facilitate the education level to the students. Uh, some other accreditation that we have is WR accreditation, and the WR accreditation and FIBA accreditation, both accreditations work to make sure or to ensure the quality of education that's, that's happening inside the university. So all of our programs, whether they are undergraduates or postgraduates, they are FIBA accredited. We also have the AMBA accreditation, and AMBA accreditation is one of the dearest to my heart because uh, only 2% of business schools worldwide has this accreditation. Uh, and when I say 2% of business schools worldwide, it means uh, less than 300 business schools in the world has this accreditation. And uh, why, why it's, it's the dearest to me, it's because our graduates from the, from the MBA program, uh, they are being handpicked and handwanted due to the quality of education that they, are, that they were given in the MBA program. Uh, a little bit more about our ranking too. We are ranked 14th in Germany in terms of business schools and our business ranking worldwide is 123rd, which is my good ranking district. And here to jump to the location of Gizmo. Well, uh, in, in the past, we used to welcome international students to, to study in any of those campuses. We had campus in Hanover, Hamburg, Berlin, and Poland too. Uh, nowadays, we're trying to keep that or to keep the diversity more in Poland campus, and um, I'm going to tell you about the reasons behind this later on. So, to start with, the current campus for Gizma is the Poland campus, and Poland is is a very nice city that's known to be on the border of Berlin. Or if, if we're going to estimate that by timing, it's around one hour away from Berlin by the train. Uh, Postdam is known for being a historical city and also known for uh, innovation and technology uh, that are there. So it, it's a very nice place to, to live in. Uh, you're surrounded by history all the time and also you're surrounded by technology, you're surrounded by a lot of factories. And uh, the reason behind why we chose such a location for our university is it's, it's surrounded by factories that would always aid uh, the student search for future careers after we graduate. So after you graduate, of course, it's going to make a lot of sense that you are in a place that already supports innovation technology. You're surrounded by factories, you're surrounded by uh, high-end corporates. So it will make the job search later on much, much easier. And uh, when we start launching uh, Postdam Campus, we had a very good uh, press coverage for this. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, uh, the size of the campus is around 3,100 square meters. And uh, if, you, if you can see, this gives you a little bit of vibes here about how beautiful the place around you looks. Uh, the train, by the way, stops right in front of the campus. So all you're, all you're going to do is just take the train, stop right in front of the campus, and here you go. So not much walking, not much time wasted in commuting. And yeah, these are some other pictures of the campus. All right. And for the international students, well, Gizma is known for being very welcoming to international students from almost all the nationalities. And uh, we have around 
more than 50 nationalities in our campus, especially in Boston campus. And we are very, very proud of this uh, because it, it does not only serve the diversity, but it also helps the students progress in their studies. It helps even their language to progress, especially that you're, you're studying in a German university, but all the programs are being taught in English. So it adds a lot of diversity to the languages you're being taught inside the campus. Uh, a little bit more also about uh, what, what Gizma University offers and why it's, it's very special for international students. Well, we're an applied sciences university, so we care a lot about how our content is being crafted. So the content is, is very high flex content. The way of teaching is also a mix between uh, both technology and also theoretical the learning. And if you can see here, we offer the highly innovative content as what uh, as well as we also make sure that our industry partnerships are very good and very well oriented in the region in order to aid our students graduates to, to look for jobs afterwards when they graduate. Uh, another important thing here is because it's an applied sciences university, so we do not rely a lot on theoretical learning or on theoretical way of teaching. We depend a lot on project based on peer-to-peer uh, -peer learning and so on and so forth. All right, so uh, if you can see here, these are some of the programs that are being offered in uh, Gizme University of Applied Sciences and whether you're doing a bachelor program or a postgraduate program. Uh, what we always make sure of is that all the programs we teach in Gizme speak a lot to the fact of the fastest growing industries in Germany. So you can see Bachelor of Data Science in the Bachelor of Data Science, what it means, it means that there is a fast growing industry of data science in Germany. So we always teach our students the programs and major in which later on when they graduate, they'll be able to land jobs easier. So uh, walking you through all of the bachelor programs here, as you can see on the screen, also the postgraduate programs. Uh, the majority of our postgraduate programs are being taught on a one year. Uh, so, so just one year basis, but only if you have a four year of bachelor's degree, if you're able to provide only three years of bachelor's degree, but you have two years of work experience, we can also get you inside a one year of master's program. But if you cannot do this or that, we will be very happy to offer you a two year master's program. And uh, the, the fact behind this or why the distribution between a one year master's program or a two-year master's program. It's because basically this is what happens at public universities in Germany and because we are a state-recognized university. So we always make sure that we follow all the rules and regulations that are being given by, by the state of Germany in terms of education. Um, so uh, if you can see here, this is some sort of distribution between the bachelor, master, and MBA programs. So all of our bachelor programs are 36 months. And we definitely do accept uh, students for foundation that are either of six months or 12 months. And uh, all the bachelor programs are being taught on campus. Uh, we usually have four intakes for all the programs. So whether you're doing a bachelor, a master, or an MBA, we can still welcome students for January, April, July, and October too. So almost every three months, we do have one intake, which offers a lot of flexibility to the students to join. As for the masters, I told you, you can always do a blended learning way of thing, but a blended learning means that you can only start online until your visa is offered and then later on you join the campus. We always, always recommend that all of our students uh, join the campus uh, for at least one year so they can benefit from the post-study visa. As for the MBA, it's the only program in which we require that our students have experience and why we want our students to have work experience it's because we're, we're being very highly selective when we're choosing our candidates for the MBA program as I told you we have the MBAC rotation so this makes us very very selective in terms of choosing the candidate but no worries not to scare you at the end of the day uh, I'm sure that uh, someone or uh, your counselor from education basket is going to help you out and gives you some, give you some tips and tricks if you want to apply for the MBA they, they will facilitate your journey so you can be accepted All right, and uh, here through our student services, well, what, what we offer is that we can offer help and assistance to the students throughout the whole journey. 
So our support team covers the visa services, the accommodation services, the career center, and we even offer German language support. What I mean by German language support is, well, although it's not required for the students, it's not mandatory that you learn German, but we highly encourage all of our students that they learn a little bit of German so their life afterwards outside of university is going to be too. So we do offer support in, the, in all that aspect. And what we truly care about is that our students, before they join, they let us know about their future aspirations. Do you want to complete uh, your job and career afterwards in Germany or not? And based on that, our team will be able to give you assistance that are basically tailored to your needs after your All right. And here, one of the important supports that we also give to our students is the career center. All right. So any graduate of uh, a private German university, they are allowed to work, to stay in the country for 18 months after graduation so they can look for a full-time job. And the majority of our students, they manage to land jobs even before those 18 months are over. And this is due to the efforts of our, of our career center. So uh, our career center, they exert a lot of efforts in order to help the students, not even after their graduation, but once they join Gizma University. What happens is that they start taking care of your resume, they start taking care of deciding with you on what future career route you, you'd prefer afterwards. And they help you apply for jobs. And the most important thing is that we always make sure that we have strong partnerships uh, in, in the industry. So how we use this is that we start by having events and gatherings for corporates and our students so they can get to know each other. And you can also uh, get information about your value in the market and it helps you later on choosing a certain corporate that you want to apply to after graduation. We also facilitate internships, uh, whether it's, it's, it's a corporate that we have partnership with or not, but our career center definitely takes care of that. And, Due to the efforts of our career center, you can see here some outcomes of our graduates. So the majority of our graduates here, they manage to land jobs, as I told you, in less than 18 months. So I'll tell you that our employability rate is 94% within less than 12 months. And 92% of, of, of those who were hired, they hold jobs with international projects. So of course, if you can see here some of the niche names like Johnson Johnson, Amazon Prada, uh, Accenture, Google, and so on and so forth. And the average salaries for, for graduates from master's degree are around 47,000 euros, but that statistic is based on 2020. So now definitely has increased to much the global market. All right. Uh, one important fact that I would like to assert here is uh, Contrary to the norm, some people might think that Germany is not welcoming or does not have enough career opportunities after graduation, which is completely not, not the fact. Because currently in Germany in 2023, there is a skill shortage that's measured with around 700,000. And by skill shortage, I mean that there are a lot of empty seats, and those seats are measured of 700,000 in the fastest growing industries in Germany. But there aren't enough skilled people to fill those seats. So of course you can imagine how, how big the opportunity is for international students because what we teach you at the university is the majors that are related to the fastest growing industries. And we also facilitate your recruitment afterwards within this shortage. So of course it's a very, very huge opportunity for international students to take. Uh, what we usually do here is, is that we uh, always try to be covered with the press. So you all see some cool news about Gizma in the newspaper and so on. If you read German newspaper, of course, once you arrive in the country. Uh, so you always find some sort of coverage for Gizma, especially about our new partnerships in the industry. And I definitely love that you all take a look at this or maybe follow uh, our newsletter. Uh, another important service that we offer to our students too is uh, the accommodation service. Well, what we do is that we don't have dorms of our own, but as, as an assistance for the students, what we do is that we always make sure that we get our students sorted out 
before they arrive in Germany. So we can offer you as many options as you can, uh, as many options as you would like to have. And based on the budget, based on your preferences in terms of staying, definitely you're going to choose an accommodation option before you arrive. All right. And yeah, before we jump to the q and I would love to uh, maybe walk you quickly through uh, a student journey since you started your application with, with Education Basket for sure. So what happens is that we, we usually accept the majority of our students, if not for direct entry, we'll be happy to accept you into the foundation. And uh, what happens is that you submit your documents after the document submission, we take around a week to get back to you with an offer letter with a discount definitely applied. And with this offer letter, what's required from you is that you give us your decision on the offer letter, whether you're going to join or not. And we do not recommend that it's longer than seven days. And why we do not recommend a longer time to be taken is because we always try to make sure that you guys have enough time when you're applying for the visa. So no longer than a week, we were expecting a decision from our students to join the campus. Afterwards, we issue you an enrollment letter. And with this enrollment letter, you can go ahead and prepare the rest of the document so you can apply for the visa. So uh, the whole process of application, so from the moment of application until you receive an enrollment letter, will take around a uh, maximum of two weeks, and on an average, it'll take around uh, 10 days. Another important fact here that I also would love to share with you is that because we understand that sometimes the visa process might be a bit longer than expected, uh, sometimes maybe uh, the intake has started and still the student is unable to uh, go ahead and, and join the campus and the visa is not ready. So what we do is that we always facilitate the online storage. So for the online storage, what happens is that let, let's assume that your uh, intake is in October, but now it's September and you still don't have your visa. So what happens is that we give all of our students the option that they can start fully online until six months, so the maximum of six months until you receive your visa, and then you can join us on the campus. And a lot of students, they use this not even if their visa is delayed, but it's an option that's offered for everyone. So they even use it sometimes to reduce the living expenses. So instead of uh, spending six months of living expenses, you can just reduce that amount of money, study from the comfort of your own home, and then join the campus when you're ready. And uh, since we've spoken about money already, so uh, we do offer huge discounts for all students. So for the postgraduate students, uh, the average discount would be 40%. And 40% is for all the programs, including the MBA. The only condition is that you can prove residency in the Middle East for at least one consecutive year. And for our, for our undergraduate programs or for our undergraduate students, we can offer uh, discounts that are up to 33%. So I'm sure that uh, somewhere in the, the rest of the human education basket, they will go ahead and explain this to you in detail using most mutual interest. And uh, definitely I'm going to push from my side so we can get you guys the maximum scholarship. Uh, I, I guess that's, uh, that these are the main information we'd like to share today. Uh, somewhere to Tell me if you have anything we need to emphasize on. Thank you, Hagar, for the informative uh, session. It was really useful. Uh, thank you so much for all the clarification. And I think we can go over the questions now. If someone wants to ask Hagar or I about anything, just write on the chat and we will answer them. So until now, there are no questions. Is everything clear? Do you want to ask about anything? Don't hesitate. So let's wait a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I have one question. Uh, so how long does the MBA program last? This is a question from Yasmin. Very good question. So the MBA program is just one year uh, length. 
is mean and uh, the requirement for the MBE is uh, of course uh, you need to get the proper GPE from the bachelor's and also you need to have uh, work experience that are not that is not in a junior level and what I would definitely encourage is if you're not sure about your requirements matching the, the requirements of an MBE please go ahead and submit your documents with Education Basket and I'm sure that they will guide you and also help you if there is something missing and that you can compensate. Thank you, Hagar. Okay, thank you. You are welcome, Yasmin. If anyone wants to, end, to ask about anything, just let us know in the questions. So I believe we don't have questions anymore. Mm -hmm. Thank you again, Hagar. Um, and I want to remind everyone that in case you are interested in applying to Gizmai University or you have any questions about studying abroad, you can get in touch with us to start the process. I will also add our contact details in the chat box so you can put it down. And let me share that. So I did share them to Yasmin, however, I want to share them to everyone. Just a second. And now they are available in the chat. So this is our WhatsApp number, mine actually, and this is the, the email for Education Basket. And also I added my own email somewhere at educationbasket.com. And also this is our website. So if you need anything, just reach out and we will start your process. Thank you, Hagar, again. Thank you so much, Samuel, for co-hosting, and uh, thank you everyone for attending, uh, and uh, really hope to hear from you guys soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a nice day, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for attending.